Okay, so today we are making an, a removable invisible part. What we're first going to start off doing is measuring uh, how big our part or the section needs to be. So that's what I'm doing here is just kind of putting my three-fourths wig up there so I can see how much of the net that I need to cut. And this net can be bought from your beauty supply store. Um, forgot exactly what it's called, like $1.99. And it's just plain old weaving net. And that looks like a good piece. So this is the size. Um, next time I probably will make it a little bigger. And you'll see why later on in the video. And I round off one side and I make one side straight. The rounded off section will be towards the back where the closure will be. And the straight part will be towards the front um, that will lay against my hairline. So here's, our, here's the hair. And I am using Virgin Hair Fantasy, um, I think it's Malaysian body weight or Malaysian straight or something. Anyway, whatever hair that you desire to use. Um, so you're basically going to measure um, till about uh, to about the center of your netted piece. And I'm, I always do this when I do my invisible part. I cut all of my pieces first and then I do it like that. You can do it however you want. If you want to cut them one at a time, that's fine. I just find that this way is a lot quicker. So now that it is, uh, you have it measured up against to about the middle of your netted piece, you want to go in backwards so that your knot is on the underside of the net and you just proceed to sew. Um, the one thing to remember is you don't want to bunch the net up because if you do, it's not going to fit anymore. So just make sure it's as flat as possible and you really take your time as you sew to sew through just a small section. And this part is just pretty simple. You're just sewing until you get to, um, until you get to the end. So continue uh, sewing and sewing and sewing, making sure in this, I did notice that um, you want to use a shorter piece of thread because the thread tends to knot up and tangle up a lot and that just takes a lot of extra time. So use a, you know, a shorter piece of thread. You actually don't need that much thread to do this, but it's see how it's knotting up now it's a lot easier to re-thread your needle or you can just thread three or four needles and use them all sorry this is out of focus but i'm trying to i don't know keep it lined up with the camera so that's pretty much what you're gonna do and i'll pop some pictures in here so that you can see me uh see the next few pieces actually I'm going to speed this up first so you can see me sew the next few pieces on and like I said I sew them diagonally and you'll be able to see that uh, just pay close attention to how I sew them on and it should be pretty simple from that point forward
So now that the first side is complete, pretty much going to do the same thing on the other side. The only difference is uh, you're going to make sure that your first piece is almost next to the piece on the other side because you want it to be as close as possible when you cut it down the middle and you just proceed on like notice the space in between just a little so this is pretty much the finished product I'm just finishing up about to tie the knot and we are done with that part here's how it looks and that's how much space is in between the two of them now we're going to make our closure if you follow my channel you already know how to make a closure by now if you don't um I'm going to speed this up like normal and show you how to make a closure. It's not that hard. Just glue it, roll it, flatten it out with the flat iron. Um, so I flatten it out with the flat iron and it's complete. And I'm just going to sew it right on top of our of my piece. So I'm just sewing straight through it. And you'll see the finished product here in a second. Cut it off. So uh, that's how it looks. I just sewed it right at the top where those, where it meets, where the two sides meet. Now we're just going to cut down the middle. Make sure they're separated on both sides and you're just going to cut straight through the lace that's in the middle. Once you cut it, it's going to look a little bit like this. Okay. Okay, so here's our piece um, cut in the middle and I'm going to attach mine with glue. Uh, you can attempt to attach it by sewing. I, it probably would work, but since I have my small braids instead of cornrows, um, it's probably a, it probably would be a little harder for me to do that. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of glue. Let's see. Thin layer glue glue to the inside like that. And I guess I'll put some right here. So that much glue just on the inside because I think I am going to sew the outside of it down um, just to eliminate using so much glue. Okay, you want to let the glue dry just a little and pretty much just find the edge. And press it down on the side of your part. I use the growth protect solution so to protect my hair from the glue. And the only problem that I see immediately is that I probably should have pulled the wig up just a little bit more but that's an easy fix, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. Alright, now I'm gonna glue the other side. Sew this down, you know, if you if you want to. Can't see. So you're gonna glue down the other side. Just on um, this side of your part. So your part is still here. So just make sure it's glued close enough to your part so that your part is slightly exposed. Okay, and then you have your 
closure piece here and I will add one hmm that actually worked out pretty nice um I will add one track in between the two like right here see that's that's why I would put my the wig closer next time I probably could maneuver some type of way so that it's a little closer but um for the time being since this was just an experiment I'm just going to uh add a piece a random piece of hair to fill in right there so um that worked out pretty good. I hope you guys were was able see it's not that bad at all. Um once I curl it and shape it, it'll be even better. But and then I'll probably tie it down so that they don't lay flatter but I think it worked out pretty well what do you guys think I like I said I'll do a filler here and I'll be able to reuse this piece uh, so that's it. See you guys. I'll show some pictures of when I add the pieces in and I tie it down and do all of that and um, let you guys see how it turned out and when I cut it and styled it. So let me know what you guys think about it and I'll talk to you later.